Number 10. Which of the following nuclei lie within the band of stability? And then we have 122 with barium, BA. Okay, so let's see, right? If you're within the band of stability, that just means that your isotope, the given isotope, is a stable isotope. But if it's not in the band of stability, it's unstable, right? And it's going to be radioactive. So let's find out, right? Now, generally, with this type of notation, there's always going to be a number on the top and then a number on the bottom. Now, they gave us a number on the top, right, 122. The 122 on the top represents the atomic mass. Now, the atomic mass is the mass of the nucleus, right, which has both protons and neutrons. So we have 122, and that represents the total number of protons and the neutrons, right? But in order to find out if something is in the band of stability, we have to find out the breakdown of how many of the 122 is protons and how many is neutrons. So that means we need to find out that smaller number, right? And what's the smaller number in this notation? Well, we have 122 as the atomic mass. The smaller number is always going to be the atomic number. So you got atomic mass and atomic number. Now the atomic number is very specific towards each individual element. No two elements will have the same atomic number. And the atomic number is always going to be the number of protons. Now how are we going to find out this number? Well, whip your periodic tables out. You got to find it on the periodic tables. So I have I have mine out. Do you have yours out? Let's look for barium. Barium is in group 2, pretty much down below, and it's number 56. Right? Yeah, BA, I see a 56, and that's the atomic number. So we know that we have 56 protons. Now let's find out how many neutrons we have. If our atomic mass is protons and neutrons, and the atomic number is the protons, what can I do to these two numbers to just get out my neutrons? Yeah, you got it. We just got to subtract. So 122 minus 56... Uh, let's see, 12, 12 minus 5 is, oh boy, <laughs> 12 minus 5 is what? That's a 7, so we got a 7, 2 minus 6 is a negative 4, so 70 minus 4 is, 70 minus 4 is 66, I'm just going to backtrack up just to make sure I did the right math, 66 neutrons, and let's see, 6 plus 6 is 12, bring that number over, 5 plus 6 is 11, and then plus that 1, so yes, 66. Okay, so we got 56 protons and 66 neutrons. Now the key thing here is hopefully we get a magic number, right? Magic numbers are the numbers of protons or neutrons that are very, very, very stable. But there's seven magic numbers, and it's not a 56, and it's not a 66. Oh, boy. So that means that we have to go on this chart to see if it's in the band of stability. Now, the way to read this chart is all the blue ticks, those are your stable atoms. There's only a few of them in this world, right? And if you're in the blue area, you are within the band of stability. But for all the green areas... That's unstability. So that's not going to be within the, ba the band of stability. So all we got to do is track 56 and 66. So um, it's going to be a little bit challenging because they don't really have the tick marks in between, you know, 50 to 60. So, but just know that each tick is going to be by twos. So let's, let's see. I will try my best. 50, we're going to go up to 50, which is right here. And... Let's see if we can get to 56. So I see that we have a tick here that must be 52. This is 54, 56, 58, and 60. Is that true? This is 60 up here. So is this going to be 58? Let's see. Does this work out? 58, 56, 54, 
52. Yes. Okay. So this has to be the 56 line. Kind of makes a little bit, a little bit good here. So 50. I think, I think, I hope so. Right? 56 protons? Barium? I'm looking at it. 56, yeah. And then now 66 neutrons. So let me, let me just, we're in some type of region here where it's over here, right? This is 50 again. I just lost my, this is 52, 54, and 56. So I would assume that this is going to be 56. And it seems like the cap for 56 they made it a little bit easier here because if we just go into our zones for where it is the band of stability we're looking at we're looking at neutron values that are between 70 to 80 so thank goodness that they gave us neutron values that are not even in 70 to 80 land right they gave us 66 66 is like all the way down here and we are not I would say this is not 56. This has to be, I would say, probably 50. So we're going to say that since we're not in the 70 to 80 region, they gave us 66 neutrons, we are not in the band of stability. So this is a big no. And there you go. Let's box it off. That was a tricky one. Sometimes when you do have to use the band, you just got to be careful because of the numbers that are going up and just, you know, making sure that you're, you know, in the right place. But I hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for your support. And if you want to, you can become a member to the channel. You get a little bit more support there and you got, you know, different tiers with different perks. So go check it out. I hope you're doing well out there and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.